Hello once again, this is Brother Teacher. It has come to bear again. There was another police shooting, fatal shooting of a black man here in the United States, more specifically in Grand Rapids, Michigan. 26 year old African gentleman by the name of Patrick um, Lyoya from Africa. Uh, father of a couple children that I am aware of. Now, uh, this happened on or about the 5th or 6th of this month, April 2022, in Michigan. And the officer has been placed on uh, administrative leave, paid, and according to the news outlet, he has been stripped of all of his, all of his police powers right now until further investigation and a determination by the, I believe, state prosecutor or county prosecutor, whatever the case is, it doesn't matter, it's still the prosecutor who has to make this determination whether or not this guy should face charges, the police officer. Now, according to the news, the police officer's name was finally released and it is Christopher Paul Shore, S-C-H-U, or are sure and um, what allegedly happened was this was a traffic stop and I'm going to call the deceased by his first name Patrick uh, he was pulled over by a police officer sure and it was supposed to be because his license didn't match his vehicle and or registration a typical, seemingly typical traffic stop. But it's interesting that another traffic stop, footnote, Sam Dubose, Cincinnati, Ohio. A typical traffic stop ends up with the person driving dead. The black man dead. Now someone who heard me just say, black man, you're going to jump on this big band wagon about why do we it always have to be about color. Why is it about color then? How many white drivers do we see in mainstream news on a regular basis that's perpetrated a crime and then end up dead? How often do you see white people murdered or killed by the police over a traffic stop? Sandra Bland in Texas allegedly hanging herself in a jail cell after a typical traffic traffic stop. Now, traffic stop again with trap, excuse me, with Patrick. The officer questions him about his license slash registration, if you will. And he puts his hands on Patrick. Why? Now, if this officer has been a police officer for some period of time, which apparently he is, how is it that it has to turn into a physical altercation? First of all, let's understand something by virtue of the video that we all have been made available to us to see. Patrick did not attack that officer. He did not initiate any contact physically with the officer. The officer initiated the contact. And then Patrick, I'm saying it just like we all saw it, he tried to flee. He tried to run. Okay, he ran. Is that the first time anyone ever ran from the police? No. It happens every day, all day, black, white, uh, Latino doesn't matter who you are people have run from the police okay but it should not end up in a death sentence what could the police officer had have done better to avoid killing this man not to mention he shot him in the back of his head while he was behind Patrick 
on the ground. Now, yes, I saw the video, same video that was made available to us, the general public, where he was asking the guy to stop, Patrick, that is, stop resisting. Yes, he was resisting. We saw that. But, why did the police officer's body cam turn off conveniently during the time that he shot Patrick? And then all of a sudden, when the emergency medical team was there, it was back on. Something to think about. But he said, the officer, that is, Christopher, sure said that during the scuffle, it went off. And then apparently just popped back on. But from what I saw in another interview by a another professional, they said that you have to depress the button for a few seconds for that camera to turn off. From what most of us saw, Patrick was holding the hand uh, or the taser and the police officer sure was telling him to let go of the taser. Now... Ask yourself this question. If someone is prodding you with a knife, just poking you, wouldn't you resist? Or would you allow them to continue to prod you or stick you with the knife? A taser is no difference. It's painful. Why did it even come down to him chasing Patrick in the first place? Is that common or typical in a traffic stop that you're chasing someone? Did he have to chase him? Because the chase ended up with Patrick, like, oh yeah, dead. And not only that, the way in which he died was he was shot in the back of his head. Even if it was in the side of his head, he was shot in his head. This is the thing that bothers me. This is the thing that bothers me. This is the thing that bothers me. When I saw the first video account of this incident that occurred in Michigan, Grand Rapids more respectively, people in the comment section, the majority of the responses in the comment section were that if he didn't resist he wouldn't be dead one example or someone said that that police officer deserves a medal because he was protecting his life and another individual made reference to why does it always have to be about somebody being black why does black have to always be brought up in these inc incidents well Black is brought up because it's a black issue. It's always been a black issue as it relates to law enforcement. And most of the time, the vast majority of the time, it's a white officer killing a black man. The vast majority of the time. So now, how do you weigh this out? Can you exercise critical thinking today? White America, Black America, Latino America, Asian America, all, all Americans of all hues. Can you exercise some critical thinking and dissect those videos yourself? All of the ones made available to us. And see any reasonable cause of action to be the result of that man dying. A taser? is not considered by the police department as a lethal weapon. If it were so, every time it's been deployed before, how many people has it killed? It is to immobilize a so-called suspect and or assailant to immobilize, not kill. So how in the world did this police officer think that his life was threatened to the point where he had to pull his service weapon and blow this man's brains out. 26 years old. Was that warranted? Those of you 
that are watching the video. Was it necessary to take this man's life? Again, bear in mind, Patrick Lyola did not attack that police officer at any point. He did not initiate any actions to, to harm that police officer. He was trying to leave. He was trying to run. Just like Walter Scott some years ago in South Carolina when he was shot in the back by a police officer and he was running. What threat did Walter Scott pose? What threat did Sam Dubos in Ohio pose? What threat did George Floyd pose? What threat did Eric Garner pose? What threat did Patrick Lyoya pose that caused him to die by the hand of a police officer? What threat? So now he's gone. We can't bring him back. They can't bring him back. So now there has to be some damage control done, right? The police department is going to try to protect its own as it always does first. Will justice be served proportionately in the way in which it should be administered this time? Will it? So I'm going to take you back one more time and this might be redundant to you. You might be tired of it, but I don't care. Something for you to think about. If you don't like what I'm saying, you don't have to go somewhere else don't comment please but for those of you who have common sense and know what it is and can utilize critical thinking again a simple traffic stop over a license plate should not carry a death sentence and then flipping the script saying that the officer was in fear of his life the officer should have never engaged that person physically in the first place let him go you'll find him later now he's the father that will never see his children again and vice versa never see his family again and vice versa all over a license plate or registration are you serious I commend all of the honest, decent, upright police officers in all of our departments across this nation. But there are some bad seeds within those organizations as well. I will and we will be very, very relieved when they're cleaned up. That's all I have to say. What say you? This is Brother Teacher. I'm out.